Success in 50 Steps, written by Michael Knight. Chapter 5, Turn It Into Goals. Man is a goal-seeking animal. His life only has meaning if he is reaching out and striving for goals. Aristotle. In the previous four chapters, we have explored your dreams, passions, desires, and purpose. In this chapter, it's time to put it all together and create personal goals to make all your dreams a reality. Goal setting is a discipline just like anything in life. It takes practice, patience, and persistence to get good at it. In this chapter, you will learn how to set goals, what to aim for, and how to reach your goals to make your life the life you want to live. Setting goals will set you up for success, while not doing so will set you up for failure. It's as easy as that. The people who get ahead in life are the people who know what they want and move the needle forward daily to get there. They are action-orientated goal setters and achievement-minded people, always growing and getting from every day instead of just going through the days. Current Situation Awareness To start you on this incredible life-changing journey on goal achieving, I want you to do this exercise of first taking inventory of your life and current situation. Before you start working out your goals for the future, it's important to know where you stand. Answer the questions below. The year is, and I am currently years of age. I currently live at, with, I currently work at, as a, and earn per year. Five people have the most influence on my life are, I currently weigh, and I rate my health as, I enjoy spending my free time doing, I have dreams of becoming. Now, if you haven't done this, pause, rewind, do it again, get out your phone, get a journal, write it out. It's very important for the next part. So by doing this, you'll get a quick snapshot of where you are in your life right now. This is not a right or wrong exercise, just a personal reflective insight into your own life. Now for a fun exercise you enjoy doing, using the same questions I asked you, rewind your life back 10 years and answer the questions again. The year is, and I am currently years of age. I currently live at, with, I currently work at, as a, and earn per year. Five people have the most influence in my life are, I currently weigh and I rate my health as, I currently enjoy spending my free time doing, and I have dreams of becoming. Was this exercise an eye opener for you? Did you see the changes and growth you've had in your life up until now? Now, while your mind is open, let's finish this exercise by using the same questions again. But this time, fast forward your life 10 years into the future. This time, answer the questions as though all your goals, desires, and aims have come true. The year is, and I am currently years of age. I currently live at, with, I currently work at, as a, and earn per year. Five people that have the most influence in my life are, I currently weigh and I rate my health as, I currently enjoy spending my free time doing, and I have dreams of becoming. If you've done this exercise, you will notice from where you are today, where you were 10 years ago, to give you the confidence of where you want to be in 10 years time, this alone shows you the growth and changes that have happened, and also gives you the belief that the changes and growth that will happen to the direction of your life and dreams. So if you don't do this exercise, that's okay. You're probably not going to go too far. If you do this exercise, you will get some benefit from it. Reflect and ponder. When was the last time you took a moment to take in all that you've done and accomplished? When was the last time you've patted yourself on the back for a life well lived? And when was the last time you were grateful for the things you have in your life? We get so busy in our lives that we fail to stop, reflect, and ponder on the life we have lived so far. The things we've done, the places we have been, the people we have met, the problems we have faced, the people we have lost, and the unique experiences that we have had. Think about it. When was the last time you've stopped, reflected, and pondered on the life you've lived? Take a few moments to do this and write down some thoughts that come to mind. Now, a gratitude exercise. List all the things you have in your life right now, things like relationships, family, health, friends, jobs, passions, things you have access to, things you take for granted, etc. Write it all down. Take a moment and just data dump all that 
onto a journal or get out your phone in the notes section. Write down some of the great places you've visited and the unique experiences you've had. Now that your mind is ticking into gear and you are reminiscing about your past, I want you to really think hard and write down some of the obstacles you've overcome on the journey of life. This can include bad habits you've overcome, previous dreams, goals achieved, write it all down. Now we can see an overview of your past and present situation. This exercise on reflection will give you the clarity on where you want the direction of your life to go. Before we push forward to the future, we need to know where we have been in the past. Now goals to hit. Let's start by writing a long list of the things you want in your life. They can be big, small, cheap, expensive, totally out there, hard to reach or easy to attain, long-term and short-term. Things you want to do, see, create, economic goals, family goals, relationship goals, fun stuff, health goals, and completely selfish goals. Anything, absolutely anything. Let your mind wander and roam free and write them down. Write a list of at least 50 to 100 things. Stop this now and do this. Now, not to be morbid, but I want you to consider the age you want to live to. Seriously, what age do you think you'll live to? Is it 60, 70, 90, or 103? Now, take away your current age from this number. For example, if you're currently 30 and you want to live to 90, that gives you 60 more years of living. I want you to place your list of goals into categories below. Goals that can be achieved in one year, three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, and even 30 years. From this list, identify one major goal that if you accomplished would have the most positive impact on your life and the world in which you live. What is this one major goal? This is your magnum opus, your star in the sky to follow your masterpiece. By wrapping up this chapter on goals, I want you to keep a goal workbook and a goal Excel spreadsheet on your computer. If you were serious about goals and success, I recommend you create a motivational vision board. It's easy as this. Open up a Word document or a Google Doc. Google images of the things you desire. Save all those images. Insert them into a Word or Excel document. Make a collage and save it as a wallpaper. Print copies and put them in places where you'll be consistently reminded of your goals. Now, the tragedy of life doesn't lie in not reaching your goal. The tragedy lies in having no goals to reach Benjamin Mays. Now, remember, goal setting is a discipline, just like anything in life. It takes practice, patience, and persistence to get good at it. Stop, reflect, and ponder on the life we have lived so far. Goals without plans and deadlines are just wishes. And people without goals tend to walk in circles. Become accountable when achieving your goals. You can alter your life through goal setting and goal getting and set higher and higher goals when you reach a peak. That's right on this chapter. If you want a free copy of this book, all you do is pay for shipping. I'll send this book to you. Or if you want the ebook for free, click the link below to download this. Thank you for watching and listening and stick around for the next chapter.